Imagine for a moment stepping into the shoes of a person living with HIV in their late 90s or early 2000s. Picture your daily routine, not defined by the rising sun or your breakfast ritual, but by a strict schedule of numerous pills, each with their unique dietary requirements and timing. A life punctuated by the clock and a ticking alarm acting as a reminder for your next dose. Juggling multiple medication throughout the day, every day, knowing that the consistency of this rigorous regime was the shield against HIV progressing. That was the reality of antiretroviral therapy in the early years. Arduous, overwhelming and often taxing on one's quality of life. Antiretroviral therapy originally consisted of up to 20 to 30 pills every day. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Sex and Bites podcast. I'm your host Abhishek, a specialist pharmacist in HIV and sexual health. Today we're taking a deep dive into a name that has been a game changer in HIV treatment, Atripla. In 2006, the world of HIV treatment witnessed a remarkable revolution. Enter Atripla, the first complete single tablet regimen for HIV to be approved by the FDA. That's right, one tablet once a day and you are done for the day. This was a game changer. A life previously punctuated by numerous alarms was now simplified. This breakthrough not only improved the treatment adherence, but also dramatically improved the quality of life for people living with HIV. For many, the introduction of Atripla marked the beginning of a new chapter in their journey with HIV. Atripla consists of three drugs, efavirenz, emtricitabine, and tenofovir disoproxyl fumarate. Now, if you are currently taking a tripla or you know someone who is, it's important to understand the basics, the do's and don'ts of this medication to maximize its effectiveness and minimize any potential side effects. So let's go through it in a bit more detail. Let's first consider the optimal time for taking a tripla. As a once a day medication, the recommended time is usually at bedtime, more or less same time every day. This is basically to minimize the impact of certain side effects. Efavirenz, which is one of the components of Atripla, can sometimes cause side effects such as dizziness, impaired concentration, or vivid dreams. Taking the medication at bedtime when your body is winding down allows most of these symptoms to occur during sleep, hence lessening their impact on your daily activities. If you're about to start a tripla, it might be a good idea to plan accordingly. Consider beginning the regimen when you have a couple of days off from work or or perhaps over the weekend. This buffer allows your body to adjust to the medication without the pressure of needing to be alert and creative at work. It's about giving your body the time and space it needs to acclimate to this new agent in your treatment plan. Like all medications, Atripla has its share of side effects. Side effects are your body's way of saying that it's adjusting to the medication. They are more prevalent in the first two to four weeks of starting treatment. Most side effects do subside once your body gets used to the drugs. Apart from the ones I mentioned already, other common side effects include rash, diarrhea, fatigue, headache, dizziness, depression or low mood, insomnia, abnormal dreams, vertigo and nausea. Speaking specifically of nausea, if your nausea is so bad that you actually vomit within an hour of taking the tablet, take another tablet and then take your next dose as usual the following day. Other simple interventions to reduce the impact of side effects include 
taking the medication on an empty stomach. That is, keeping a gap of at least two hours between the pill and the meal and reducing the fat content of your evening meal. Doing this have been known to drastically reduce the severity of side effects. However, despite all of the precautions, if any of the side effects become bothersome, or affect your personal or professional life, don't just sit there and suffer. Instead, contact your pharmacist or doctor to talk about side effect management or other suitable alternatives. Now, let's look at what to do if you miss a dose. If you notice within 12 hours of the time you usually take a tripla, take the tablet as soon as possible. Then take the next dose as usual. However, if you notice 12 hours or more after the time you usually take a tripla, then do not take the missed dose. Wait and take the next dose at your usual time. The important thing to note is to never take double dose to make up for the missing one. On the flip side, if there is a rare event where you overdose, it's essential to seek medical help immediately, especially if you are experiencing side effects. Let's now look at another very important aspect of taking HIV medication called drug interactions. Atripla can sometimes interfere with how other drugs work, a phenomenon called as drug-drug interactions. This includes, but is not limited to, certain antifungals, anti-seizure medication, statins used to lower cholesterol, birth control pills, and other antiretroviral drugs. Hence, it is absolutely vital to make your doctor and pharmacist aware of any other medication you take, including over-the-counter medication, vitamin supplements, herbal products, and even class A drugs like cocaine, ecstasy, crystal meth, etc. to ensure that they are compatible with Atripla. Remember, it's in your best interest to ensure that these interactions are managed effectively as this will contribute to the effectiveness of your treatment and your overall health. Now, you may or may not be aware that Atripla is now off patent. In the world of pharmaceuticals, this means that the exclusive rights to produce Atripla have expired, paving the way for other manufacturers to create their own versions. This is where generic drugs enter the scene. They are essentially duplicates of the original. They contain the same active ingredients, offer the same potency and work in precisely the same way as their branded counterparts. Moreover, they adhere to the same stringent safety and efficacy standards. And here's the crucial part. Before any generic drugs can hit the market, the manufacturers must provide concrete evidence demonstrating its therapeutic equivalence to the original branded drug. This ensures that your treatment remains just as effective even if the name on the pill bottle changes. Hence, if you have been switched to a generic version of a tripla, rest assured your treatment is still on track, working tirelessly to keep you healthy. As we journey towards the conclusion of this episode, it's vital to note certain other considerations when taking a tripla or indeed any antiretroviral therapy. When it comes to consuming alcohol, caution is advised, as heavy drinking can make it more difficult for the liver to process these medications and possibly enhance drowsiness, which is a side effect of a tripla, as mentioned earlier. As for pregnancy and breastfeeding, it is crucial to have a thorough discussion with your doctor to ensure the safest route for both you and your baby. So, I hope that our deep dive into a tripla has left you feeling informed and empowered. 
Now that you have all the necessary insights about taking this medication, you are better equipped to manage your journey with HIV. This episode is designed to provide information and understanding and does not serve as medical advice. Never disregard professional medical advice or delay seeking it because of something you have heard in this episode. If you believe that you have a medical emergency, please seek immediate attention from your doctor. In our next episode, we will move ahead and discuss another widely used single tablet regimen in the emerging world. Also, do follow us on Twitter at Real Sex at Bites and me personally at Farm ID Expert for more updates. Until then, stay curious, stay informed, and most importantly, stay safe. I'm your host, Abhishek, and I'll see you in the next episode.